الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی ان محمد ولا علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ As advice for those who wish to try polygamy <clears throat> is first and foremost that <clears throat> it's not an institution that you just try. Meaning marriage in Islam and marriage in general should be, is a sacred institution and it should be something not to be tried but something to be successful at something to be gained because this is a means either to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or go further from your Lord due to the sin that you incur and some of the some of the brothers or in fact many of them <clears throat> who wish to marry more than one wife, two, three, and four, as Allah Azawajal has made permissible, often they forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also made you responsible and that you should have the means and the qudra to take care of those who you are charged in authority over meaning if you choose to marry another wife then you need to have the means economic and physical and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said in an authentic hadith ya ma'ashir al-shabab man istata'a minkum alba'a falyatazawwaj the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said and he was addressing the youth in general. Ya ma'ashir al-shabab. O youth, those amongst you who are able to marry, then they should do so. And the scholars, they mention about the term that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the hadith. He said, Man istata'a minkum alba'a. Alba'a. So the scholars mention and have differences over the meaning of alba'a. Some interpret that meaning to mean alba'a being the financial ability. The financial ability to take care of more than one wife, or to take care of a wife in general, as far as getting married and the hukum pertinent to that so for example the one who wishes to take another wife but his first wife for example is on the system in America we say welfare in the UK they might say the dole or in other countries whatever the thing is but the man is not necessarily being responsible for his family but instead it is a non-muslim government or entity and so this individual that wishes to take another wife, then he should reflect upon his status. And he should reflect upon his status with Allah And is this going to bring him closer? And is he going to be taken care of? Or does he want two wives that are on the dole? Then this one, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, should not take a second wife. And of course, unless they are two women who agree to this. But the asal is, is that the man should al-rijal al-qawimun al-nisa. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that men are the maintainers and the protectors of the women. That that is the responsibility of the man. Another group of scholars mention that al ba'a that this is in reference to the physical ability 
meaning that one a man should be able to physically handle having two more than one wife, meaning he should have the sexual prowess, akramakum Allah, so to speak, in order to marry more than one wife. If he is unable to do that and he is in himself deficient for whatever reasons and he is unable, then he should not take another wife because he is not even attempting to fulfill the needs of the first wife nor does maybe nor does he maybe possess the ability so these are important things to reflect on from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when one wants to marry more than one wife on top of that, there is a whole series of just being a series of issues to reflect on, aside from just the physical and the financial, but a person must also have the spiritual strength and the mental capacity, because often there will be jealousies, often there will be competition, and often there will be anger and this will be manifested so a man has to know how to deal with these natural inclinations of the women and the difficulty that he will find himself in he has to be able to deal with that stress and deal and have the ability and the qudra mentally spiritually and physically so those are all things to reflect on for those brothers who ask about the question of polygamy, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.